Hello and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Geheimnisnacht, the Warhammer mod with the Kingdom of Sjöling Slot up in the north here, the Saneshi. Uh, well, we are going to be a princessdom very soon, hopefully, so that we can expand. But for now, we will concentrate ourselves on our raids. I think we have a truth with most of our common raiders, raid targets, so there's that. But yeah, I wanted to apologize real quick for the lack of vi videos lately. This time, I actually had probably the time. I, you know, I always can take the time if I want to, but yeah, it just, sometimes I don't have the time, or my PC is really struggling at the moment. I don't know why that is. He, I think he's dying slowly, and that is very sad. That's why I had, you know, just trouble with audio, and it's just, uh, he really doesn't want me to continue this apparently, but I am uh, very stubborn when it comes to that, and I will not give up. Also, I loved doing YouTube videos, to be honest. So, let's look at our raiding possibilities here. Well, I... I don't, I don't know. I'm thinking about talking about stuff, but I don't know if that's too good of an idea. The clan Pestilus has conquered a territory up in here, in Rossillon. I could potentially take it, but I don't see a reason to. You know what I could potentially take is a lot of lands down here in the Badlands. And I think we can just start that. We are going to attack this orc of the Midsart Horde. Could even Chaos raid him. Oh, well, that's not too bad of an idea, to be honest. But no. We are going to conquer this territory right here. Send forth the rattles. We're going to conquer this territory, and then we're just going to take over all of these orc lands. And we're going to make a proper Slaneshi kingdom down here. And emperor title. Very soon after. So today, I was actually uh, at a concert. Of Lindsay Stalling, it was awesome. It was really good. Um, yeah, I just felt like sharing that with you for some reason. D d d doesn't really matter in any kind of regards, but um, yeah, no, I don't want him to be cynical, so please uh, don't. So yeah, that was really uh, awesome. Can all only recommend visiting that one day, and I probably will go to one again in the future like if she I hope she does <laughs> tours for many years to come that I have the opportunity to go on another concert of hers other than that there hasn't really been anything well th the reason why I couldn't really record at the weekend this uh, or as of late is because this weekend my brother or the last weekend my brother had his birthday we didn't really celebrate that, but we still drank and stuff. And we we celebrated it without him basically because he was busy and he w didn't want to come to us. And yeah, it was kind of weird. Now that I think about it, he already wants to make peace with me. We surrender. Yes, I accept. Okay, yeah, but don't just go away yet because we are going to attack this orc court. Could Chaos raid him? Wow, that would... He would pay a thousand gold. I might actually just raid them real quick. Uh, I'm gonna raid this guy, but this guy I'm actually going to attack. Greenskin extermination. And this guy we're going to Chaos raid. Send forth the vassals again. We're going to recruit all of our own troops for this one. Um, we're not gonna, going to recruit these guys. So, yeah, I wanted to talk about a little bit about myself, to be honest. And the reason for this is, is because, well, it's, it's kind of weird, you know? She, uh, it's was something that Lindsay said today, and she said, you know, you're, we are our own authors of our books and all that stuff, our life. And we, we have to decide and, oh, damn these green skins. It seems that the province of Delium has to was supposed to have colonized by Greenskin in a particular way. We've managed to eliminate both of them, but some struggle remain, causing trouble and all that stuff. 
green skin population. Yeah, green skin hideouts. We're going to cleanse, cleanse it ourselves. Sounds reasonable. And it, it's just it's like the normal inspiring stuff that popular people often say. But for me, it was it was a little bit, you know, cursed creatures. And then sort of green skin has attacked or claimed. Just attacked it, okay. Uh, we must be prepared because the expedition failed. Because right now my, my life is a little bit of a change and it's really uncertain for me. And that's why it, it, it really got to me what you said. And it, it probably could have been anyone who said it and still have gotten to me. And I don't really know, like, I'm, I'm 20. I haven't really, I haven't studied anything and I, I'm like, right now I'm not doing anything. <laughs> as bad as it sounds, I'm not going to school or anything, I'm not working right now. I'm still searching for work. I want to become a soldier of the, you know, German army, but I don't know if I, like, the thing is, and it's weird to talk about this for me, but the thing is, I, I, I always thought that I want to be a soldier, you know protect those that can't protect themselves and just change the world <laughs> through through my actions. And I always saw that, you know, the world is not going to change from its own and from from alone. And, and you can't always change it peacefully, sadly, so I really was of the opinion that as a soldier I, I could do it, but I mean, they are certainly needed, uh, as we see lately. But I don't know if it's really what I want. Like, there are many things I want. I, w I, um, I don't know what I want. That's the problem. I, I like, I have to choose, but I can't wait forever. Uh, what interests me, like, <laughs> it's really difficult to talk about this, to be honest, especially just with myself. I mean, I don't know. I, I can't really talk with anyone else about this as easy because, you know, this is just me and no one else. But we're actually losing against these orcs, which is very bothering me right now. Very much bothering me. Um, could my allies not just sacrifice themselves down there? I'm actually surprised that these orcs have beaten us that much. But yeah, for example, I... In my youth, or as a very small child, I wanted to become a soldier already. Then, in my early teenage years, I I was very interested in languages, and I still am. And I, I don't even, you know, a dolmetscher? I don't even know that if that's uh, the English word. See, that's the problem. But I wanted to study English, like the language, and other languages. Um, but I also wanted to become a, a voice actor, or an actor in itself, you know. There's are things that really interest me, but I just... I don't know if I can be <laughs> that. Like I'm missing the self-confidence in that, in, in myself. And I, I don't really know or think I'm capable of doing something like that. I, you know, the thing is, many people have told me that my voice is amazing. <laughs> no, no, not amazing, but that I... I have a voice that it's easy to listen to. And it, it sounds nice, which I can't really say if it's true or not. F funny enough, I never liked my voice when I recorded, but I've done YouTube for so long now that it's the opposite. I don't like my voice when I hear it myself, but when I record, I actually like it very much. But yeah, it's kind of a problem, you know. I, I would love to become a voice actor or an actor, but that's a long road and... <laughs> Success is certainly not certain, and I'm I'm afraid of not be able to do it, and I just don't know. A famous writer proposes to compose your family chronicles. Um, I'm going to give him patronage, so it's it's really difficult for me at the moment because I, I I'm at this point in my life where I actually have to choose as to what I'm going to do next. And right now I am 
I am trying to... I don't even know what it's called, but... Like, I... I reached out for the... the army, and, you know, sent them my... <laughs> everything they need for a... God damn it, I don't even know what the word is for that. Like... I don't know. But I'm trying to work there. <laughs> I'm trying to become a soldier, and I've sent them everything they would need for that. But I haven't gotten an answer, and... It's it's not even half a month left since uh, when the next um the next uh, date is where they you know accept new soldiers and I haven't gotten an answer from them yet and more and more eyes up, up, open your on your face and you check uh, then your neck and after that your whole body is covered in blinking and uh, got many eyes apparently even though I don't see it. Time passes, yet to me the world seems unreal. It is if a life without Jess is but a mama's farce. I'm lost in the sea of loneliness and know not where to return. Um, he was a fraud anyway. We're just going to lose depressed and... ...widowed. And we're going to marry... ...this man. He's a cornet. Yes, marry him. So, yeah, I haven't gotten an answer from them yet, so... I'm very... You know, nervous about that because if they deny outright or just wait for the next one, that's you know in a half a year. Oh, no, actually, no, it's the first of the first of the year, the first of the fourth, the first of the seventh or something like that is the next uh, date where they look for new soldiers <laughs> to accept, and that's that's a long time ag away and. I don't really want to wait that long anymore. But then, how how am I going to try and fulfill my other, you know, wishes? I don't I don't think I can just go and you know become an actor like that. <laughs> That's not it's not that easy. You actually have to study that stuff, and to study it, I would have to go back to school um, for a long time, for a very long time. And voice acting is. You know, the same thing, I, I've never really worked in that, or done anything in that regard, and it would take, I would need to study it as well, like go to school for it, and who knows how long it will take to, you know, do all that, and be done with it, and it, what if it doesn't work out, like, so much I can do otherwise then. <laughs> So I'm, I'm really, I'm just really scared, to be honest. Um, Karak Stahl Truthspawn has completed an emulator protection plus three. It will protect both your person and for short periods of time. Its range can be extended on the battlefield to deflect hostile arrows from your force. So I'm going to get a emulator protection three. How, in what way is that better than mine? Personal combat skill plus one and that's plus 15 so it's actually it g just gives me five percent more defense so huh? well I'm going to gift my emulator protection to my daughter and I'm going to get this one there we go okay so yeah I'm just uh, I'm a little bit lost right now I'm, I'm sure many many uh, others feel the same way like it's not <laughs> Certainly, no, not alone in that regard. But yeah, I don't. We will see. Like, I'm, I'm going to have to choose something very soon. But it's, it's scaring me, to be honest. And it's troubling me. But yeah. <laughs> What else can I do there? Um, let's cleanse this of green skin. Uh, you know. Of the green skins. And let's just concentrate back on the game. Like, I'm I'm having my somewhat... Now, it's not really depressive, but my self-finding talk here. But you all are just here to enjoy some Crusader Kings 2. And not really care about my personal life. 
At least I think so. You know, sometimes it's it's nice to hear about the, a YouTuber's personal life, but let's not <laughs> overstretch it. So, we are going to conquer some territory down here. Um, by the way, I did some test videos and the audio quality was fine, so I hope and I think that's going to be fine in here. So, we're just going to win the war real quick and take over all these titles. I am going to send home my forces and I'm also going to send home my fleet. Uh, I'm going to clean all these provinces real quick. Sounds reasonable. Sounds reasonable. We're getting a lot of prestige for this, which is nice. And we certainly have the money. Like, that's not a problem. Uh, let's clean all of them. I didn't expect there to be so many, to be honest. Okay. Um, where do I still have troops to raise, to be honest? Uh, oh, over here, okay. Let's send them home. Going to raise everyone again. Uh, these guys I still can't really raise because they can't fit on the ships and I'm too... I'm not going to bother with them if they can't fit on the ships. So send them down here on this aisle. And there we go. This orc war, we should win this. Like, there's... It's not that troublesome. Okay, damn these green skims. Oh, no. I, they were just still over here, but... We're still cleaning it. Like, that wasn't a green skin. We must be prepared. S one expedition failed. I don't know where. Uh, probably down here. Should have looked where the... Gr pret <laughs> Way I failed. Or maybe over here. No, this is slashy, so that's good. No idea where I failed. Uh, the expedition had cut off blah blah blah. Only the green skin force repelled your forces. The battle has stirred them into bloodlust and now we gain further momentum. Okay. That is quite bad. The expedition did their job and exterminated the last of the green skins. Don't know where they did it. Over here, okay. Must be prepared. Must be prepared. It's, uh, it's the Kingdom of Magnata. We can't just straight up create the kingdom, really? Oh, that's... Well, that's easy. Oh, wow, we are nearly losing this war, by the way. Um, I don't want to create the kingdom just yet, but... How about we just create this duchy for now? And, well, right now I can't give away these titles, because... They aren't cleaned. Must be prepared. Very annoying. Uh, we might actually lose this war because my troops won't be there quick enough. And that would be a shame. Uh, they're certainly going to crush this army. So yeah. We have a lot of goddamn tribes and they are going to drag down my troop count. No, 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 don't... Like, uh, yeah, I was about to say, shouldn't we have more than this? Okay. They are trying to end the war quickly now. But that's going to be a mistake of theirs. Because our army is coming, and our army is a lot bigger than theirs. Oh, okay, so... I think one of my vassals has taken over a territory up there. And that's why... We are back in in green territory. Oh, not really green, but not as bad. I want to block them before they reach up here, but I don't want to have too bad of a morale. And we have to be quick about this as well. I would love to block them right here, but who knows where the greenskins already are. Okay, well, they're not here yet. He's going to attack me here. So let's go over here. Delium. Quickly attack this. Okay, that's good. He's afraid of my army. We need some new commanders. Because we're missing a lot. My daughter, that's okay. My vassal, that's not so good. My cordia. Let's see. 
You inspiring leader and brawny, uh, not brawny, heavy infantry leader, that's fine. You are a defender. How about an organizer? That seems very good. You are nothing right now. Um, we have me, but I don't want to fight. Well, I accept you for now. Okay, for now I just want to hold them until my morale is uh, good enough. And let's attack them. Let's hope we crush them this time. He's actually taking attrition now. We're gonna try to attack him. Well, someone has usurped a title. He can join my war here. No problem. Okay, we have attacked them. And it looks like we're going to win this time. Yes, I think... Uh, I wouldn't... Yes, okay. Yeah, we are we are one. We, we are one. We have won. Uh, sadly, my daughter died, but she was not that good either, uh, apart from her, you know, military skill. Was, why was she even fighting, to be honest? Oh, you are a champion of corn, so you should be in the battle for sure. So the orcs are going to get crushed. Plains of green skin, yes. Spend all the money that I that you need. Just do it. Clean up green skin. Yes, sounds reasonable. Don't really mind spending the money. That I would prefer if you actually succeeded, though. Okay. Very good. And now we're going to take back these titles. Send home the fleet so we don't waste too much money on... Uh, on their monthly on our monthly income here. We must be prepared, we must be prepared. Very annoying. We must be prepared. Okay, we've destroyed <laughs> the green skin army completely. We must be prepared. Hmm, that's very annoying. We must be prepared. Why are they failing so hard right now? It isn't really bothering me on the on the money end, you know. But it's not very good for my well, for my demand limit, because we are far above it. Um, I think uh, let's not call or send our army back just yet. So these provinces are all. Can't do that at the moment because why not? Country group goblin. Don't have the kind of hunting green skins. Doesn't really have that modifier though. Sounds reasonable. Just do it, please. <laughs> okay, they at least did it over here. The problem is I can't give away these titles until they are cleaned. Uh, in Erengrad we've built a berserker mustering. Quickly going to destroy this army of orcs, because they are annoying. And we are, then we are going to win the war. Uh, peasants have risen up in Mikal. Well, let's destroy these peasants. Uh, is this Mikal? Uh, well, we are actually going to destroy them, we must be prepared. Uh, okay, expedition did that job. We must be prepared. We must be prepared. Where did they do their job, though? Over here. What's this, uh, duchy? These four provinces. So, three of them are already cleared. Very good. So, we should give it away. How about we give it to just a new courtier that I'm going to help, um, you know, create. Impose martial marital dominance. You have more political influence in your spouse. You may force your union to be considered with you as the dominant party, turning a regular marriage into a matrilineal you know, only one a female or matrilineal one to uh, okay. I'm not actually deformed, so I don't know 
Well, I could do this. But I'm gonna do it. Oh! You've grown tired of the pale and hollow look on your face and your bones sticking out under your skin. Luckily, magic has many use. With a proper spell, you can show more healthy appearance. I'm no longer undernourished. It's actually pretty good. Um. Okay, so I should not be up. Incapitated, incapitated or occupied. It's female. It's spouse is not a ruler. It's not landed. It should not be higher than a count. Okay. Does have the law anatic? Oh, okay, so now we are we have a proper marriage. Even though he didn't want that at first. That's fine by me. Yeah, that is a okay. okay. We are losing the war again. He's a bastard. Who's your father? Oh, he my half sister has made a bastard. At least he's pretty and genius. So that's pretty nice. Uh, I've got the Yaldum of Nukar. It's this down here. That's pretty bad. Uh, oh, yeah, I, <laughs> I wanted to invite a few priests. Uh, how about not a priest? Can I invite something else? No. Uh, I could hold a feast, but... Well, let's invite a couple of priests, even though I don't really want to spend piety. But we need them. You will be granted the Yaldum of Nukar. There you go. You will be granted the other Yaldams over here. You'll be getting the Yaldam of Illyrium. Illyri there you go. And you will get the Yogdom of Kapar. Kapra. You're going to get the other titles very soon, but I probably can just give them to you immediately. Like Beardus and Mikal, because I think they are already. Yes, they are already cleaned, so... Of course, these provinces aren't good. I'm going to build you the warrior cult everywhere. Just so you have a little bit of a starting base. But yeah, these provinces suck. And they will suck for a very long time. But at least, you know, they aren't green-skinned provinces anymore. Quickly take over this. Uh, what? Beast Lord Kodak of blah blah blah. Is there to do? Yeah, okay, and why do I care? Beast Lord Kodak, are you my? That's not my Bray Shaman, is it? It is. Actually, uh, with the death of Hot Master Akar of Dirt Hot, the Mighty Clodagh Clan has become extinct. Um. Well, there goes my Beast Lord because he just. <laughs> He just went on to inherit a title over there. Well, that's a shame, but I don't need him anymore. He's done what I wanted him to do. Pretty much. And with a little bit of luck, we are going to become a princess very soon. I am certain that that's going to happen. If only we could win this war. Okay. There, there it is again. My PC is not happy about this. Not at all. Not at all. So let's quickly win this war. Oh, well, that's a strong garrison, but I don't care. Barely took me, uh, lost anything in that. So now that we have... Oh, he immediately was executed. Nice. No... Okay, apparently this one is a little bit tougher to take, for some reason. My daughter came of legal age. She's a slow and dumb child. Brilliant. No, she's brilliant, not the other one. <laughs> wow, did we lose so many men over there? Didn't expect that. I would love to actually win this war, just, you know, the battles didn't really do me too well. Ah, he signs for peace. We surrender under these terms. Doom Kauda, I get piety, prestige, and 800 gold. It's not really as much as I would have hoped for, but it's good enough. Okay, Ubis. Please, clean of green skin. Uh, 
prov uh, presence as we do with this province and this province and this province don't make it my capital by accident that would be horrifying three children lack an educator oh, we're just gonna let you be educated by whoever I don't really care about these children You seek to kill whom? This isn't... Okay, you seek to kill Thorin, but... Who the heck is Thorin? Like, this is not... This is not Thorin... Verley's daughter. Thorin Verley's daughter... Is who exactly? I don't know. I have no idea. We must be prepared. We must be prepared. Uh, you, we are not prepared. We must be prepared. We are not prepared. I can tell you that much. Let's disband our troops. Very annoying. Very annoying indeed. Because it's actually kind of expensive. You know? Doing this over and over again. But I think our truces have run out, or most of the- Hey! What happened to my favorite... ...guy that I always like to raid? Uh, the Republic is still here, but... ...can't declare war on him. What? Why not? Oh, I still have some troops over here. Go away. So we have our favorite Republic over here. Okay, let's raid them. The King of Obregon, he has conquered a territory over here. That's very nasty of him. Um, do I want to chaos rate him? Probably. There's some non-aggression pacts, but I, yeah, I think we can chaos rate him. Like, Finterra here. And we have this guy. Doesn't have too many troops. This fellow over here. Ah, it's Tobacco. Still in the truth of him. Can't attack this guy. Fine. Can we attack her? No. This is, these are two provinces apart from uh, each other, sadly. Can't attack over here or here. Of course, now we actually do border these people. Uh, with these people, I mean King Cetra. Holy hell, he lost a lot of prestige somehow. And a lot of piety. Uh, but no, actually that's money and prestige. But that's good that he has that low of wealth. Who did you attack? And apparently you lost one of these wars. Or not. But yeah, he has a lot of these territories everywhere. He's kind of very scary and aggressive. These dwarves we could raid, but that's not going to happen. And even though they are very poor as well. If I wanted to raid a dwarf, it's going to be this one. But he's very strong. And it's going to be a long time until we can beat this guy. And yeah, that's actually about it. <laughs> this conquest didn't get us that much in the end. I'm going to call in my vessels, and I'm not going to do anything in this war. I'm just going to watch these provinces as I want them to be freed of the greenskin <laughs> presence. Cleanse, cleanse these provinces. Cleanse them all. Probably should wait to do this until I'm feudal, because. Then they are all going to turn into castles immediately instead of, you know, clans. We must be prepared. Okay, yeah, Dark Dreams, Trouble the Priestesses and all that stuff. Good, someone did their job finally. That's pretty nice to hear. So, it's a rare sight these days. My Cordia has inherited a title or something, I don't actually know. Speaking of a Cordia, which title... Chothar was finally freed, and we're going to do uh, create the Duchy of Rothira, Rothira. Give it to this man right here. No, actually, it's not bad. But yeah, he's not the, one of the courtiers that I've called. Uh, you, you, yeah, you might actually be. 
So I'm going to get, give you the title of Rothera. Uh, yeah, it's, it's the right one. Okay. Very good. So you must be prepared. Oh, look at that. She even has a small army and a small navy. We must be prepared. God damn it. How's the army looking? Okay, so they are doing what they do every time. They're just sieging everything. Though, he is besieging this trade post right now, which I don't like. But I was told, and I think that's actually true, that trade posts only get destroyed if they are being raided. So that's nice. Um, for example, Trollheim is being raided, but that's just silly, to be honest. I can't just, I can't just raise the army, and they are going to beat them. I rule in this kingdom. There go the traitors, because attacking Trollheim is a very silly idea. Clean it of greenskin. Presence, please. Uh, I can't... Re uh, if I... Re you know, the last time I did this, the chance to succeed was a lot higher. But it was also a little bit more expensive, but still, it's quite silly. Um... No, you're not going to be my scold, even though you're quite awesome at it. I don't want you to be my scold. You're nearly dead, by the way. Because you're so old. We must be prepared, we must be prepared, we must be prepared. Very annoying. Very annoying. Okay, we are going to lose our province over here. It is going to fall into enemy hands for now. Sad times indeed. I have so much prestige because of all these uh, green skin provinces. So we're just going to upgrade the, the cavalry range, I think it was. Can I upgrade the shipyard? I could upgrade the shipyard. So we're gonna do that. So that I can build the shipyard in Trollheim very soon, after the cavalry range is done. And once again, we're going to try to build green skin, uh, get rid of these green skin province, uh, presents, using a lot of money on it. But money is n was never a problem for us, so. Or <laughs> as of lately, it wasn't a problem for us. Must be prepared. I don't want to join any of your calls. Oh, my vessels are actually beating, uh, being beaten here. Must be prepared. That's kind of surprising and unexpected. But yeah, they, they've beaten my... my army here, and I've gotten the... the Aldum of Nukar again. So let's go down here, and... Discordia is going to be granted the Aldum of Nukar. There you go. You must be prepared. Uh, I don't want to be prepared anymore. I just want you to do it, to be honest. That's another th silly thing for you, because... Uh, going back to the topic I talked about in the, at the beginning of the episode, I al always wanted to sing. Like, I... That's... The, the silly thing is I can't sing, like, at all. At least, you know... Eh, that's not true. If I would train it, I could potentially sing a little bit, but that's, I'm not really good at it. Like, I don't th think I am good at it, and I don't, I don't want to sing right now because it's, a, you know, that's just no, that's not gonna happen. But there were videos of me singing on my channel. I don't actually know if I made them private at this point, but. There were videos of me singing. They existed. My niece and this beast lot, sure. Why not? And these, th they were very old and I somewhat on, uh, you know, on purpose sang badly, but yeah, that's one of those silly things that I wanted to do that I'm very much sure that I won't be doing anytime soon, because, you know, I'm just bad at it. Must be prepared again. At least, 
two of these provinces, or most of these provinces are now no longer green and we only have this province to take care about. Uh, we are going to build a warrior cult everywhere for my vessels down here. Just so that they don't... Oh, they have a little bit of a starting base here. Like That's actually a, quite a good army to start with. Yeah, that's that's good. These warrior tribes are going... Especially because they are of our culture and immediately of our religion. Okay, so we got an army of zealots and warriors. We're going to send all of them home. I need them right now. Apparently my, my vessels are failing at that task, so... Uh, excuse me? Who just murdered my... my daughter? Oh, my niece. Theron was murdered on the orders of Vebiron, Humbro. Theron Humbro. But yes, Theron Vermis' daughter. Vebion. Must be one of my family members. But I wouldn't know whom. Uh, it's probably a rival of mine now. You? Yeah, you're a Hacken... Hacken Zone. Still a rival. You have a lot of piety. But I don't know who you are. I don't really care about you. Okay, so my vessels are failing me right now. That's always a good sign. But we're going... I'm going to raise my armies and do this, these wars uh, myself because... You know, my vessels are just incapable. But we're going to do this in the next episode. I thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, then consider leaving a like and a comment down below. And we will see us in the next episode. Until then, take care. Bye.